The Shogun's your latest released album here, uh, probably 2008, am I correct? Yeah. The title, I heard that has a, maybe a sort of an Asian influence. Uh, yeah, Shogun is actually a Japanese word. Yeah, um, can you explain? You know, it's... Uh, if you can. It came from... It, it came from... Uh, I think it was one of the first or second times that we ever went to Japan. And, uh, you know, Matt just got inspired. He went on some tour of Tokyo or something like that. and He got in, inspired by the name, and he brought the name up to us for the record and at first we're like what dude you know what does this mean cool and then we kind of all did our research on, on what it was and you know we all just felt it was appropriate for the record we just all felt it was you know the the right title for what we were doing and it just fit everything right so you know we all agreed upon that that's going to be the title for the record and you know i, I think it's uh we wanted something to the point something that sounded strong and Shogun is definitely that. <laughs> now, uh, probably general question. I've probably heard you say, you've probably heard it before, but what, what got you in the middle? Um, I don't know. I guess, uh, being a piss off teenager, <laughs> <laughs> rebellious, I don't know. Uh, uh, probably my, my older brother, I'd say the piss off teenager thing was a joke. Uh, my, my brother was into metal. Um, when I was young and I mean, the first time I heard Metallica, I was, I was eight or nine and I heard uh bright lightning and I kind of fell in love with that. But my, my mom wouldn't let me listen to it at the time. So it was a, a tape, So I'd have to sneak off with the tape players and, and the ride the lightning, the tape and go in my backyard and hide and listen to it. And, uh, you know, I kind of just snowballed from, from, getting to know different bands and getting to know Megadeth and Pantera and Slayer. And, you know, you just start discovering more and more bands. It was before the day of you could get on the internet and discover bands. Uh, so it was a little harder, but I luckily had an older brother that was into all that stuff. So, you know, I could just uh, raid his stash of his collection of different metal or whatever it was, or raid his buddy stashes or, you know, get my fix or, uh, you know, go up to the, the local music store. There used to be a thing here called Blockbuster Music. They, they have a Blockbuster video, mm. but they opened, a, for a little while, they opened a thing called Blockbuster Music, and you could go in there, and basically pick out a CD, and they had this booth where you go up, and like they'd put the CD in for you, and you could like listen to the whole CD and shit like that, and you could listen to it before you buy it. And I'd go and do that a lot, ride my bike up to that store and do that, and just check out new bands. And if I dug the band, you know, I'd get like, all their material, and if I didn't like it, you know, you wouldn't have to buy it. So I uh, discovered a lot of bands that way. Um, one of them that stands out the most was DRI. That's, you know, I, I remember uh, hearing Acid Rain when I put it. I can't remember what record it was off of now, off the top of my head, but I just remember hearing that song, Acid Rain, and I'm like, fuck, man, I got to have this band. This band rules. And so I, like, got their whole collection. <laughs> nice. Speaking of favorite music, I saw on the website that you like Snoop Dogg. Yeah, yeah, that's actually really, really old. I haven't updated that in like many <laughs> years. I'm talking since probably 2005. Um, I do like Snoop Dogg though. I get, I get inspiration from I get inspiration from a lot of different music. I listen to rap, country, metal, rock, southern rock. I, I listen to basically everything. You know, I try to find inspiration from everything, maybe not try to find it, but inspiration does come from whatever I listen to. And, you know, I don't ever try to deny anything. I think good music's good music. And if you're into it, you're into it. I try to always uh, listen to music, a very open mind, and, you know, try to experience it. 